Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I wanna do something a little bit different and share with you some things I wanna speak over 2021 and over you. And you know, 2020, there's just a lot of crazy things that have happened, a lot of uncertainty. And of course, we root ourselves in our identity and in the promises of God, but it's helpful to hear a now word of what God is saying as we step forward. And I wanna share with you what I believe God is saying about 2021 that is coming up. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Multiplying Disciples channel. My name is Mark, and it is an honor to be with you. And, you know, if you are new to my content, new to this channel, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel right down there and hit the like button, hit the bell notification. All of that helps to make sure that you get this content in your feed. And as I've been sharing lately, I'm also putting this content in other places more and more as censorship increases. So check that out in the description below. And in this video, I want to jump in and share with you some things that I feel like God is saying about 2021. Now, again, last year came as a surprise to all of us. I don't know of a single person who knew that that was going to be the year that we would go through. And some people are glad that the year is over, but uh, we don't seem to see things changing anytime soon in terms of what's happening in the uncertainty and chaos of our world. So what do we do in the midst of all of that? Now, of course, the practices of getting in the word and beginning to, to, to rest in and declare God's promises from the Psalms and other places that he speaks to us in prayer. Engaging with the Lord is absolutely critical and key. And in fact, we've got to make sure that our intake of scripture is much higher than our intake of social media, the news, all that other stuff. But I want to share with you in this video, a specific prophetic word that I believe God wants to speak over you and over 2021 for all of us. So I was in prayer and uh, my wife and I were processing through 2021 and what God might be saying to us. And God really drew me to John chapter 20, verse 21. Now you'll notice that is 2021. I want to set this up for you and then pray this over you. So in John 20, Jesus has risen from the dead. This is the end of the end of the book. And uh, he is he's appeared to a couple of people, including the women just right before that. And now we hear in this story that the disciples are gathered in their home. They're all together, but they've locked the door out of fear. And they're afraid of the religious leaders. Now that makes sense to me, uh, but I want to point out that this is the same disciples and specifically John and Peter that a little bit later in the book of Acts are going and boldly declaring in the temple and even getting persecuted and potentially facing uh, who knows what death or, or, or who knows what, but they do it boldly. These are those disciples just a little bit earlier that are locking the door out of fear. So they're in that situation and Jesus is there among him, among them. So he walked through the wall or he appeared somehow and he speaks to them and he says, peace be with you. And he looks at them and they, they see him and he begins to show them his scars, the scars in his hands and his side, his scars of crucifixion. And they're excited to see him. And then he speaks again to them and he says, peace be with you. And then he says this in 20 verse 21, as the father has sent me, I am sending you. And then he goes on to breathe on them that they might receive the Holy Spirit and declare that whoever they might forgive, the father will forgive. Now, this is profound, and I believe that this is what God wants to speak over us this year. There's a great temptation for us to draw back in fear, to close the door. In fact, more and more uh, all around the world, but speaking to my Western U.S. audience, we've had this temptation more and more to lock our door and to hear what's coming down from on high and our government authorities. And those are the places that, that we should just hold back and do nothing in this time. Now, that is not the Father's heart. Now, we're, we're to obey and, and, and honor those who are in authority, but at the same time, we're to live boldly and loudly for the gospel. So if we are holding back this good news, we are not living out the call of God in our lives. So in this situation, they've locked the door, they're in fear, and Jesus walks through the wall of their fear, and he begins to, to declare peace into the situation. The Prince of Peace, whose presence is peace, declares peace over them. And they see him. And then interestingly, he shows them the the, the marks of his crucifixion. The, the ones who they are terrified of, who could do something to them, he says, look at this. They tried to kill me. I overcame even death. The worst that the enemy could throw at, at me, the worst that he could do, I have overcome that. And so he shows them this and then he says again, peace be with you as the father is sending me 
I am sending you. So here's the deal. God, I believe, is wanting to send you this year. Now, that may be across the block. That may be to another nation. I believe God for it for this year. But in the face of that, we're all going to experience this fear of what if, what if, what if. And he wants to walk through the wall of our fear and give us peace. Not that we won't experience challenge or pushback, because again, Jesus experienced crucifixion. He's sending them in the same way that he was sent, meaning to embody this gospel, to preach this gospel, and ultimately lose his life for the gospel. So he's telling them that they're going to go, but he's also saying, you're going to go in peace, and I'm sending you to go. And then we see that in the book of Acts, uh, early on in the book of Acts, as John and Peter go to do exactly that. So we have this as our encouragement, that the Prince of Peace has overcome the world. We may have trouble in this world, but he has overcome the world. And so I would challenge and encourage you to sit down today and ask the Lord, Lord, where are you sending me in 2021? Who would you like me to live loud with, to share the gospel with, to be on mission to in 2021? Because I believe God's going to show you, and I believe he may even surprise you of where he's sending you. So I want to pray that for you. Jesus, thank you for each of these ones that are watching this and who are following you. And even in the midst of an experience of fear or uncertainty, they're stepping out to follow you, the Prince of Peace. And Jesus, I pray that for each of us, each of those watching, that you would establish our hearts and our identity in you and our identity in the place of peace. And that, Lord, you would bring to our mind and bring to to our hearts the specific places you want to send us in 2021. So I hope that's helpful for you guys and blesses you. That's a little bit of a departure from the kind of content I usually put out, but I felt like God said that and said to share that with you. So I pray that you would move uh, move towards the Lord and that as fear arises, you would invite the Lord into it and let him show you what he's doing so he can send you forth in his power. That's it. See you guys.